Okay, so today I'm going to talk about some very serious things regarding what's been seen flying in the skies at the Big Dipper. Okay, go ahead. So before I begin showing you the EVPs and what has been going on the last few weeks, I am going to show you something very important in regards to humanity in this planet. I've been trying to share this since 2017. It has not been easy, and people have been quite mean about it. But I've never been a coward, so I will always stand my ground and speak the truth. I will not lie to you. If you have not read E.T. Frequency, the book I just published, please go read it. It's on eKindle. It's on Amazon.com. It's on my website, ParanormalProfessional.com. It is a transcript verbatim of what has been communicated to me and that I recorded with cameras and audio recorders in regards specifically to the end times. They, uh, the entities that I was communicating with are Archangels. You have heard Archangel Michael's voice on this channel. Um, they are guardian angels as well. Um, there have been stuff about Enoch and Noah and a lot of them that have come through in regards to what is going on in the final days of mankind. And they keep telling me to read revelations in the Bible. <sighs> the ETs that I speak to are known as the galactic kind, the galactic angels, the Nordic kind, and Pleiadians. Um, this goes back to Enochian blood, which is also within my own blood as well, and Enoch. Um, I will explain this another time, but first, I kind of want to stick on point here. I've been receiving messages about the end times, the Antichrist, the devil, the dark coming, so much more. The war that they were telling me about the war coming back in 2017, 2018, and 2019, and 2020. And then all this war stuff started happening with Russia. And they are, um, they have a lot to say about this right now. Um, let's see. Please forgive me. I am so tired. I have been working day and night nonstop and driving back and forth 
from Bangor, Maine to Massachusetts. And usually I drive from Maine to Oregon and Washington back down to the south. So I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just trying to focus on one thing at a time. And I even documented two UFOs in Bangor, Maine two days ago. I posted that on my Instagram seance parlor. So there are some ufologists, okay, some are on the Travel Channel, um, some, you know, some are my friends as well, and they work on very serious u ufology research. Well, there were these lights that were being seen in the Big Dipper. I didn't know anything about the Big Dipper. I didn't know any of the constellation names. So they, she asked me on the phone one day after I tell her about all of these EVPs and messages about the end times and everything they're telling me to go look at in the Bible and all these things. And she says to me, and I'm going to leave her name out of it um, just in case she's not ready, you know, for people to know. She said to me, hey, have we've been seeing these lights. We've been working on, you know, it's a closed case. It might be taken to... Congress, this and that. We've been seeing these lights. And they're, she didn't tell me anything else. She just said, can you ask the angels or have they said anything about what those lights are and exactly where in the Big Dipper they're coming from? And they did. The angels and the extraterrestrials told me it's the prophet angels. They are eradicating Arctic tunnels. They are helping the world right now. It's a part of God's plan, and God's plan is also making the ice melt. It's a part of his plan, and that's why the ice is melting. They said, um, all right, so before I go any further, I'm going to show you the footage of these lights, which I did not witness or see this particular footage until days, maybe a week after I did the contact communication session with the ETs and the angels. And then I'll get back to telling you everything that they told me and more. So have a look at this and I'll put the channel Ben's channel. I do not know Ben. I just know his partner, um, who is a ufologist and also on the travel channel. You know, just because they're on the travel channel does not mean that their work is not potent and honorable and real. You can see that it's uh, brightened the image just a little bit. And uh, he captures the first one that I don't think he even realized were in his view until a little bit later here. And the reason that the camera is having trouble focusing is because the actual objects are intensifying in light, and that's throwing off the uh, autofocus. You can see the stars, which I'll point out in just a second, are sort of still pinpointed. It's the objects themselves, the UAPs, that are changing in intensity. Now, these three lights right here, those are stars. That's the Big Dipper. And in a different part of the video, he captures the fourth star, which is the whole kind of bowl of the Big Dipper, and the, the bottom star is Merak. So the objects are coming right out from the quadrant that the other pilots described. In this case, you have two of them, and they kind of dim away. And then in this part of the video, a third one joins, and it creates this really kind of cool-looking triangle. Um, the pilots, uh, most of them I talked to, didn't think it was one solid craft of any sort, but it did seem to kind of synchronize as it looks like they're kind of joined together um, in this motion as they come through. Um, almost as if they're revolving and turning and in, in synchronicity, but uh, no one can say for certain. And if we speed it up, you can kind of see as we put it in reverse and then forward again, it's definitely three objects passing in front of that uh, star Mirac. Okay, so when I contacted the ETs and angels for the ufologist who was asking, you know, have they said anything about these lights and, you know, where they're coming from exactly in the Big Dipper? Um, you know, any information that I had on this, I can't, as I hear, I'll just go ask. So I contacted the ETs and angels were present as well. And the first thing they said was Alcade. And I, I texted and voice messaged her and I said, they said Alcade to start with. And I'm literally doing my forensic audio analysis after my session um, of recording my conversation with them. And I'm like, I don't know what Alcade is. I have no idea what this even means. It just sounds like a word, Alcade. She had sent me this picture right here. 
And in this picture, you see Al-Qaeda and you see all the other little names, right? They talked about Merrick and Moore. They talked about Fad. They talked about another one, Doobie, I think. And what's going on, why we're seeing these lights and what's happening, what exactly these beings of light that they call the prophet angels are doing. Okay, angels, what can you tell me about those lights? Okay, so a little while back, um, if you watched what I have previously released, um, which I don't release everything, there's a lot more. One of the things they said was that God is going to wipe evil from the world. Another world is going to open. And this is when I was asking about what prophecy. You keep telling me about a prophecy since 2017. And they said the end times, the ending, a new world is going to open, um, a new world will open, and that God will wipe evil from the earth, all these different things. So, you know, go back and watch that, and I have even more in my ET Frequency book that is just transcripts. I don't really talk much in there, I just put the transcripts in. So here, what they're about to say, it sounds like they're helping new world or the world. I think they're saying new world. So I think I may have tagged and misheard that incorrectly. They are helping new world. And I was asking them, what are the lights? Where are they coming from? And what can you tell me about the solar system? I was doing this telepathically over and over again. Okay. And what can you tell me about those lights?
There's a lot more. It's very concerning. There's UFOs being seen everywhere and on a daily basis. And the ETs told me that this is going to happen. And here's a little bit of footage. I don't know if this is completely 100% real, but I have been, I'm getting sent footage from all over the world. And I want to show you this. And then also I want to talk about the Euphrates River. Before I show you the EVPs from the ETs, speaking of the Antichrist in the Arctic, in, you know, times, the end times, you know, wars, World War III, Biden's talking about it. Um, the angels and the ETs are talking about it. They're, they're kind of intervening on some levels. Um, I also asked about the Antichrist because a lot of that has been coming up. They told me all about the Antichrist, which they had mentioned years ago, but they said, I, I finally just sat down and said, okay, we need to talk about this. Who is it? Where is he or she? They told me where the Antichrist is, which absolutely lines up to the Bible. Um, and when it says he's coming down from the north, there's a lot of stuff going on, you guys. And this stuff's really serious. And the only thing I know how to do is to keep documenting, keep sharing, um, so now I'm going to show you everything. If you haven't watched on this channel, on my channel, ET, um, ET case file, I'm sorry, ETX file, and um, one other, which I'll show right now, please go watch it because I'm about to share a lot more as to what is coming because there's a lot coming. And everything leading up to that has come to pass that they've told me, even this war.
There's an ambulance going by. Wait for the ambulance to pass. I am working day and night, endlessly, tirelessly, barely sleeping, trying to get all this done and figure everything out. I've got people all over the world that I'm working with. I even had some folks go over to the Euphrates River and some other folks who were over there. And I said, is the river dried up? They all said yes, every single one of them. And some people have been sending me videos of this. In the End Times Revelations, it does say that the Euphrates River will dry up. So you have all this stuff in the Bible. You have all these things happening on our planet that are exactly the way the Bible describes it to be in the End Times. And then you have extraterrestrials and angels, even Archangel Michael, who I've recorded, all saying the exact same thing since 2017 to me. Apocalypse. In times, the dark is coming, they talk about the devil, they talk about the Antichrist, I don't care if you believe in it or not, this is a lot, this is very concerning, there's a lot going on, and um, it's all kind of being revealed to where we are able to accept this happening. Um, so... I have to get back to work. I needed to share this. There's a lot more coming. <laughs>